three-man front on third down and nine for Mountain Crest. And they're bringing three. Boswell's unloading into double coverage on the other side. Two Mountain Crest players <laughs> fought for it. <laughs> Niederhauser and was Zach, Zach Kimball the other one, and neither one came up with it. Kimball the safety coming over. And I, I don't think they saw each other. Busy watching the pigskin. Yep. Hall and Carlson will be deep to return. Good punt. Hall starts left, now back to the right side. Gets a block. Eddie Hall in Weber territory inside the 40. Well, he picked up a couple of really good blocks on that return. At the 38. Oh, this is always when you need your head on a swivel as a as a defender, you're looking at that runner, and now there's guys running back toward you. One and there's good one. Block. Here comes another. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Oh, and Trump flushed out. Got running room. He's going to throw instead. Boy, and this one falls short of his intended receiver, I believe it was Putu Town. Well, he, he likes to throw across his body in that kind of awkward throw, but you can't throw downfield 30 yards like that. Mm -hmm. He likes to throw that flat pattern or little flag route. If he's able to stop and set his feet and deliver that, that's six points. Putu Town was running free. He started looking for the home run ball, and now he's missed on three of his last four. Here comes some pressure, setting up the screen. Back to Carlson. Carlson, down inside the 30. Still going. My goodness. Well, it looked like he was down multiple times with the official standing right there and watching him make forward progress. That's close to the first down. That's nine yards. So now 116 yards receiving. Mountain Crest loves the deep ball, their fans, their coaches, but I think Eddie Hall is most effective on those types of passes because he's a good dual threat quarterback. Hall will keep it on second and a yard. He may get enough push. Flag. Let's see. Flag on the near side. Procedure on Mountain Crest. Instead of the first down, they'll have to run third down again. Eight penalties now on the Mustangs. All with an eye formation, two receivers split, two tight ends. Hall shakes himself free for a moment and now finds a man wide open. It's Carlson on the backside. What do you do? What do you do as a defender? There's nothing you can do, and on third and five, it's a big pickup for Mountain Crest. Wow, that was a great play, great personal effort by Eddie Hall. 26 yards. Take a look here how many tackles he avoids. Is that Carlson again or Puchita? I think we decided that it was, was Carlson. That was number eight. The quick feet of Eddie Hall finally finds Carlson. A man alone waiting for the ball. 
142 yards receiving for Carlson. 223 passing for Hall. Here's the give to Richardson. Richardson down to the two. That's one person we haven't seen a whole lot tonight running the ball is Richardson. It's his first carry. Good for four yards. Second and goal. It's only his eighth carry on the season for Richardson, but he rushes just over three yards to carry. Approaching three minutes to play in third. Mountain Crest looking for another score. Give to Richardson again. Richardson into the end zone. Touchdown, Mustangs. For Richardson, that's one on the ground and one through the air. No nonsense football. Richardson just finds that gap and hits it. Calls PAT is good. It's 35-7 with 3.01 to play in the third period. Mountain Crest leads. I really enjoy banking at Lewiston State Bank is because I enjoy the friendly service. They know me by name, they know who I am, and they know what my business is, and that is very important to me. I've been banking at Lewiston State Bank for about nine years, and we love it. They know who I am. We are proud to have been serving our customers for over 100 years with personalized, friendly service. Please come in and meet your new friends at Lewiston State Bank. Seven our score here in Hiram with 3.01 to play in the third period. Mountain Crest has it going on now. Eddie Hall, 19 yards rushing on four carries. He's got 223 yards passing on 14 of 17. And he's thrown for two touchdowns. Boswell gives. It's Tesh. Loses a yard. Here's the play on third and long. As Hall keeps things alive with his legs, really, you just you can't do much as a defender there. No. Everybody, the safety, everybody's rolling with that quarterback. Carlson slips out of the backfield and he's just standing back there and Hall finds him. Some of the Weaver Warriors just gave up a little bit. They kept thinking somebody else was going to tackle him and it just never happened. Oh. Boswell hit as he throws. And this one drops short, just about picked by the safety. He got popped hard. Zach Kimball couldn't come up with it. Boswell stood back in there. Looking for Schlange again, that sideline. It's talking about probably the uh, high school game of the week was uh, Lone Peak Highland, 4A and 5A number ones. Lone Peak leading Highland at the half, the last score we have, 35-21. Lone Peak is tough. They may be good enough to beat Bingham and Alta. Looks like it this year. Boswell throws the out. Oh, Green can't come up with it. And he would have been short of the first down. That was third and ten. Two of nine on third downs for the Warriors. They 
were also watching that Logan and Spanish Fort game and Skyview Brighton, Logan winning by a couple of scores late in that ball game against Spanish Fork. And Skyview down by a couple of scores in the second half at Brighton. Pulver kicks it to Hall at the 31. And he's wrestled out of bounds just shy of midfield and a late flag coming all the way across the field. Well, Utah football in general, Utah high school football is pretty good. And I'm trying to think of the team I just read about that went down to Crenshaw High School in California and kicked the tar out of them, beat them by about four touchdowns. I just read it. It I'm was not Timview nor Bingham because they both went down to California and got the tar kicked out of them. Really? The illegal block in the back on Mountain Crest. Yes, really. I realize we're not supposed to be biased as um, journalists, and there's your SEA and Jewelers middle of the block sign of the clock where Utah gets engaged, but it doesn't hurt my feelings too bad that Tim you got kicked around. They, they, need a, they need a little bit of that now and then. I don't think sports play by play and color guys are uh, considered journalists. Oh, good. Then I'm really glad Tim you got the crap kicked out of him. <laughs> Opinionated entertainers. You're opinionated and I entertain people. <laughs> well, that's debatable. We both are debatable. 50% of that is debatable. <laughs> Under two minutes to play here in the third. Hall still out there at quarterback for the Mustangs. Two tight end set. He fumbled the snap and gets it back. They'll run the screen. It's Nick Taylor. He's got a block and he's got the edge. Austin do a sophomore linebacker gets a good angle and knocks him out of bounds before he can get downfield. But that's a big game for Mountain Crest and Nick Taylor. 31 yards. Pick up 31 yards on a fumble. Three catches, 57 yards, and a touchdown for Taylor. Hall, a little comeback. Putu Town, Putu Town. Stood up at the 26. To five yards. Putu Town's first catch. He's gone to him a few times, but it was short last time. He carried the ball once for 12 yards. He threw the ball once for 44 yards. you got to think that your uh, assessment earlier in the game that he's not feeling too well is right on the money. 300-plus yards through the air for Mountain Crest. There's a little inside handoff to Carlson. Carlson's making a case for player of the game as he picks up six yards on the ground. He has 48 yards rushing on seven carries, 142 yards and a touchdown through the air. Carlson also with a touchdown on the ground. So he's 190 yards worth of offense. Six foot three of them. Mountain taking their time getting in the line. They do have to get a playoff before the end of this quarter. Give to Richardson. Richardson runs up in behind Carlson and a flag. Take away about a seven yard run. And it's probably penalty number 10 on the Mustangs. Holding Personal on Mountain Crest. No, holding, that's holding, that's how he that's how he, uh, he like grabs his hand like oh, okay. about it. It looked like a personal foul. So like, what the heck? He's been calling it the same way the, all night. He wants you to know that is a hold yeah, and is. we don't do that. He is serious. Well, the thing that will really kill you in football is turnovers. The second worst thing is penalties. So Mountain Crest has got some work to do before they play region next week. Ten penalties.